Hi guys, once again welcome to my channel. I'm very much privileged and I'm very much excited, excited as I'm preaching day by day in the YouTube and I hope that those are watching my sermon, those are watching my YouTube, they'll be really blessed and I thank God for using me to preach the gospel through YouTube to the people those who do not know about Christ and to the people who have not known Christ they can know. And therefore this time, this moment we are going to discuss something important and we are going to listen about the title God's love that God said to us that love as I have loved you as God loves us we are to love one another that's what God is telling us in the Bible and about that what we are going to talk now friends first we know what is love love is a matter that makes happy to all living beings friends today everyone of us we want happiness even you are rich even though you are poor even though you are healthy you, even though you are not healthy even though you are perfect or even though you are not perfect but you want happiness everyone living in this world they want happiness when God himself we want happiness everyone of us we want happiness and therefore to make happy someone to make happy yourself we need the love love is the main solution to make happiness in our life in the life of others and therefore we are going to talk about the love I am not going to talk about anything love that has been boyfriend girlfriend but I am going to talk about the love about the care for someone else about the brotherly love that how we need to love one another and how we need to care one another friends we see in the bible that in this end time what is going to happen the people will love her of themselves many people they will be lover of themselves rather than loving god you see in we see in second timothy chapter 3 Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 we see that in the last time in the end time the people will be lover of themselves more than loving God they will be proud and they will be boastful and also they will be covetousness and they will not love God but they will love themselves which means the world love will, will blind up their eyes will make their eyes blind that they will not able to love God more than themselves and here in Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 5 in verse 5 here it says that having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away friends today today God is telling us to God is telling us to turn away from all these things God is not telling us to love ourselves more than God God is telling us not to be proud of our look God is telling us not to be boastful of our beauty God is telling us not to show with our own biblical but God is telling us to love one another and care for one another friends and therefore today we need to be thankful to God that God has given us the solution the information that how we can overcome all these things how we can stay in the safe, safe place let's see even in Bible in 1st John chapter 4 verse 7 and 8 here we see that let us love one another because if we love one another, we love God. But if we do not love one another, that means we do not love God. It also says that if we say that we love someone and if we do not love God, that means friends, we are not loving that person. Because we may say sometimes we love God and we do different things toward our friends, toward our fellow beings. See, how can we love someone whom we have not seen? And when we do not love the one whom we have seen. And therefore let us practice to love the one whom we have seen. Then we can able to love the one whom we have not seen. That is Almighty God. And friends, here we see that um, in 10 and 12 that if we love, if we love God, we can love one another. We can be happy with one another. And therefore we need to love one another and we also need to love God more than ourselves and more than others. Why? Because we did not love God first, but God himself has loved us. And therefore, if God has loved us, we ought to love one another. And when we love God, when we love one another, we feel happy to ourselves. Friends, loving one another is not simply been spoken, but it is the commandment of God. It is the commandment of God. We will see in John chapter 15 verse 12 that God said, this is my commandment that you love one another as I love you. God is telling us to love one another as God has loved us. 
God has loved us in such a way that we cannot imagine, that we cannot compare. And therefore, we need to love one another as ourselves. And here, friends, Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48, there we see that how we need to love one another. Do we need to love only the person who loves us, or do we need to love even our enemies? Here, friends, God is telling us that we need to love even our enemies. We should not love only ourselves. We need to love even our enemies. That's what God is telling us. So friends, this moment I want to say that we need to love even our enemies. Here we see in Matthew chapter 5 verse 43, He had heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbors and hate thine enemies. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. Pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Friends, God is telling us to love even our enemies. Why? Because here God said in 45 that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he made his son, son to rise on the evil and on the good and send it rain on the just and on the unjust. Friend, the sun that is shining today, we can say it is not only for the good people, it is only, not only for the righteous people, it is not only for the perfect people, but it is for the everyone, it is even for the murderer, it is even for the torturer, it is even for the robbers or the thieves or every evil people or every drunkard, it is for everyone. And the rain that is falling, the air that we are breathing, the fresh air that we are getting is for everyone. And therefore today, you and I, we should not make any separation in loving the people. We should love everyone equally. As we travel from place to place, we need to love everyone equally. And that's what God wants us. God wants us. And being a child of God, being a follower of God, we need to love one another. We need to love in the way how God loves us. As how God sacrificed His Son, Jesus Christ, for the cross of Calvary. Just because He loves us, God knows that He can give back life to His Son Jesus Christ, and He can give and He can make Him alive, and therefore He sacrificed life. Today, you and I, we cannot sacrifice our life, but we can do the best thing what we can to watch other, to make others happy. In this present moment, we see many beggars, many poor people, many many needy people that have been suffering from the food, from the eating, from the clothing, shelter. And it is our high time that we need to show our love and respect and we need to show our care by taking care, trying our level best to provide their needs. And I'm so thankful and so blessed that I can see many of the people around the world that are helping one another, doctors and nurses, they are doing good work and they are helping good and I'm so happy for that. And I'm happy for lots of the people because they are helping them, providing the food and providing them the rice and every vegetables etc. So may God bless you all as you continue to love one another friends. And here in Proverbs chapter 10 to 12 you see that love covers the all sin. And in 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 8 also says that love covers all sin. Today if you have committed sin, your sin can be co covered only when you love someone, only when you care for one another, only when you help one another and only when you make someone happy. And in Jeremiah 31, verse 3 says that God's love is everlasting love. Friends, God loves us with an everlasting love. And therefore it is our duty that we need to love one another. Here in Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3, the Lord had appeared of all unto me, saying, Ye, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Friends, today, God has loved us with an everlasting love. There is not one There is not be selfish. Let us love one another. Loving one another will not cause us anything. Will not hurt us, friends. Loving one another will give us happiness. Loving one another will give us joy. Loving one another will give us to love in us. When we love one another, we love one another. We love God. That's what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. The whatsoever things you do unto the least of the brother, you are doing it unto God. You are not doing it to anyone else. You people to earn money, they do this and that. But today, to earn the salvation, just love one another. Do whatever you can do to your level best. 
Friends, today, if you love one another, God will love you more. Share your love to one another. When you share the love to one another, God will love you more. So I hope you'll be correct and you'll care for one another. Let us all care for one another, love one another. And I'm sure you'll be joy and happiness in our heart. Friends, may God bless you all as you continue to live in Christ and God to love one another. And I'm sure that God will love you more till you come the cross of heaven. May God bless you all.